Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. My name is Kelly and this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create this design right here. It says fall vibes only and it uses a really cool uh, groovy font with sort of that groovy wave uh, feeling. Uh, this design is made primarily on Canva, though I will tell you there's a caveat. Right now I do use one outside, um, outside source, which is free and easy and you don't need to create an account. So if you wanna know how to do this, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so as always, we're gonna go ahead and start with our blank backdrop. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I will go ahead and design on black just because I think it makes it easier to see and it's better to optimize for. This is going to be mostly a text-based design and I'm going to be doing most of it on Canva with a tiny caveat. We are gonna be taking a little sidetrack off to a photo P or photo Pia just to get this sort of groovy look and I'll show you that real quick. It's, it's actually super fast and easy. But let's go ahead. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a fall vibes um, fall vibes only look. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and pull up a text box. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do it in all caps. I'm gonna do fall vibes only, okay. And so now that I've got my text, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna pick a font. I do want something a little groovy. So I'm gonna show you a real easy thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna search and I'm gonna search for retro fonts. You can search retro, groovy, vintage, so all different ways that you can search for this. And we're gonna look for a fun font, something that will look good in all caps. Some of the script ones do not look good in all caps, so you gotta be careful about that. The one I like to use here is called Nectarine, and it kinda has a really cool 70s look to it, so that's the one that I like to use. And then from here, I wanna bring these lines closer together. So I'm gonna come up to the top where it says spacing, where it says line spacing. I'm gonna go ahead and bring these lines a lot closer together. I want them way closer together like that. I'm gonna go ahead and make this nice and big. Now from here, I wanna play with some different colors. So I want some fun, vintage, fall type colors. There's a lot of different ways we can do this. I can just start picking colors. I can go to elements and I can search for fall and I can see some of the fall colors here and I can select colors literally right off of pictures if I like, if there's a palette I like. Um, so there's a lot of different fun ways that you can go about doing this for fall. So let's just say, I'll show you how I can use some of these pictures to pick my colors. This one has a lot of different colors. This one has a lot of different colors. Let's go with this one's got the most colors. So this is a lot of colors. And so I can use this to select colors. So let's say I wanna start here and I'm gonna select F for fall and I'm gonna pick a text color. Now it's automatically pulled up some of my photo colors here. And so that's super convenient. So maybe I just wanna start with this reddish color and it might be a little darker than I want. So maybe I'll come up, see where it's at and I'm just gonna make it a little bit lighter. So maybe I bring it up so it's a little lighter this way and I just sort of play with it from there. And I find whatever kind of shade that I like that I think looks good and I can go from there. So maybe I wanna start Maybe I wanna start there, something like that. And so now what I can do is I can just pick different shades of that. So I can pick this again and I can do one of two things. I can either keep moving lighter, which I think looks pretty good. And so we can do this whole word in this one shade and just keep moving lighter. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it would be if I came up here I left it where it's at and now I move this and so we change shades. So maybe I go a little bit more yellow and then I can slide it down and get a little bit more yellow each letter as I go. So that's another way that you can kind of change where you're at. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the same shade and I'm just gonna move a little bit lighter. And so I'm gonna do something like that and I'll do that for every letter. So here I'm gonna come down and I'll do it again. And I'll do it one more time. Maybe I'll do a different word each color. I'm just showing you different options for different colorations. So something like that I think looks pretty cool fall. And so let's do it again. Let's go with the vibes. And maybe I want the vibes to be a little bit more orangey. So 
It didn't pull up any of the good orange colors, but that's okay because I can go and use an eyedropper feature, hover right over whatever orange part of the design that I want. Now for this, I probably should have zoomed in or kind of blown up the design a little bit more, but you can hover over wherever you want and it'll sort of give you the color right off the design. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit more orange on this. So I'm just gonna bring this a little bit more to, yeah, there we go. No, that's too dark. All right, trying to make it easy, but you can definitely be playing with uh, your colors for a while. I'll bring it up, make it a little bit more vibranty orange. So let's say I want um, this to be a little bit more orangey, so we're gonna go with that, and I'm just gonna repeat the process that I did up top. So <clears throat> I'll pick my orangey color, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit lighter as I go. And so I can start to get just lighter shades. So something like that is pretty easy. doesn't have to be perfect you can play with it kind of get whatever shades you like so I like that there and one more time you know, I'll bring this down let me go with the word only maybe this one I want to be a little bit more yellowish tone to it if I come down here and I pick that tan color yeah it's a little bit more in the yellowy tones so maybe something if I'm starting a little darker maybe something here looks good and then I'm just gonna come up and repeat said process, making it a little bit lighter as I go. And one more time. This one's gonna be something like that. Okay. Oh, so there we go, fall vibes only. I've got some fall colors. That's just one way to do it, but you can obviously go ahead and, you know, um, use whatever types of colors you want. You can do color palette search up here. You can maybe do fall colors and see what comes up. So there's a lot of different ways that you can pick the colors that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So now for this design, we're gonna do some really cool sort of groovy, um, wavy text. I've showed you how to do wavy text once before, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently this time. So for this, we are gonna use a little outside platform, but it's super easy. So if you follow me, I'll show you, it's real fast. I'm gonna go ahead and download this as a PNG, as a transparent background, just like I normally would. And once it's downloaded, I'm just gonna hop over to Photopea. So I'm gonna click here, I'll show you. So this is Photopea. So if you just put in photop or photopea.com, you don't have to create an account. It is totally free. You don't have to do anything but go to this website, Photopea. And once we're here, you should see a page just like this. If you click open from your computer, which is right here in the middle, you should be able to open what you just downloaded. So you'll want to, from your downloads, open up what you just made, it says fall vibes only, it's gonna open it right here. So super easy from here. There's a lot of different features, kind of like uh, Photoshop, but it's free. For this one, I'm gonna make it real simple for you. We're just going to do a wavy uh, feature. So we're gonna come up to where it says edit. So the top left hand corner, you'll see it says file, edit. You're gonna hit that edit button. You will scroll down to where it says transform. Now, once you hit transform, there's gonna be a few different options. So we're gonna pick the one that says warp. So if you hit warp, it has now kind of highlighted your text and now we can go ahead and warp it. So you'll see up here right under edit, it says style and next to it, it says none. And so if you hover over where it says none, we can go ahead and click on that and it's gonna pull up different styles. So to get the one that's kind of that wavy um, style that you've probably seen a lot of on Amazon, we'll come all the way down here to where it says wave and you click wave and it's gonna automatically wave your text. Okay, now that's pretty cool. 
Now you can also play with the amount of the wave. So if you think that this is a bit much or a bit extreme, no worries. Again, if you come up towards this top, it says bend up here and it says 50%. So you can play with how much it bends. So if I click this little arrow button, it's gonna pull up a slider and from here, I can just sort of slide it up or down. So that was 50, this is 45, 43, somewhere in the upper 30s, I usually think looks pretty good. So you can make it again as big as you want, as little as you want. That's 28 right there. So 28% gives it a really cool kind of wavy look. So you can just sort of play with what you think maybe looks a little bit the best. That's 32, that's 36, so that's pretty wavy. Maybe I like to go back down to 28, 20. And so pick what you want. Once you have it the way you want it, no problem. There you go, 32, I'm just gonna stick with 32. Or apparently 36, 36, whatever it says. I'm gonna click this. We're gonna go back up to the corner where it says file and now all we have to do is export it. So I'm gonna click file, export as, we'll export it as a PNG. So we click that. It's gonna pull up this little box here. Everything in this box should already be how you want it. So it's got the same name, it's still a PNG, it's got the same dimensions. All you have to do is click save and it is going to download this new wavy, wavy font. And then we can go ahead and go right back over to Canva, right where we were. And that is really the only thing that you need the photo P for. Again, I didn't have to create an account. It didn't cost me any money. It really was that fast and that easy. And now I can just upload my new fall vibe. So I can get rid of that one and I can drag and drop my new one. And so there you go, fall vibes only. And it's giving me this nice wavy uh, fall look. So from here, we can play with a little bit more. You can definitely keep it here, but I like to use some shadows and I like to use some, you know, some little flourishes to make it really stand out. So I can keep it on a black shirt. I might go ahead and decide, eh, I don't necessarily like black. Maybe I'm gonna try to see how this would look on a white shirt so it'll stand out. So here's my fall vibes only on a white shirt. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little border around it so that the letters really pop so that they don't blend in. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to edit image and I'm gonna use some of my photo effects. I'm gonna go ahead and use the shadow effect and the glow effect and that's gonna give me the outline around it. And so if I give it a second, there we go. I can go ahead, I'm gonna get rid of the blur. I'm gonna get rid of the transparency. I'm gonna bring the size up a little bit so that I get a little bit of that outline that I want. Perfect. And now here, I probably don't want black. I still wanna stick with the fall colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and go more of a brownish color. It can be pretty dark, but I'm just not searching for just black. So now I've got a little bit of an outline around this sucker. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and I'll give it a second to finalize. Sometimes it does take a minute for it to kind of finish. So once I've got that finalized, I'm gonna go ahead and add a shadow too, because I think a shadow will really make it pop. So we'll click on it, edit image, perfect. I'm gonna do the shadow feature again. This time I'm gonna do a drop shadow. So if I use a drop shadow, you can see it gives it that really cool effect. I'm gonna get rid of the blur. Blur doesn't really print very well. I'm gonna get rid of the transparency. Transparency doesn't really print very well. I like the offset, I can play with it and make it more or less offset. Again, I don't want it to be exactly black. I'm gonna go more of a darker brown color, keeping it more in the fall look. I do want it to be dark because I want it to get a little bit of a contrast. I just don't want it to be totally black. So maybe something like that and I'll hit apply again. Give it another second to finalize. And now I've got my fall vibes only. It looks really cool. It's got that style that you've probably seen a lot of. And now what we can do is add some flourishes if we want to. So a lot of the uh, groovy designs, you'll see flowers. For this one, and because it's fall, I'm gonna go ahead and add some fall leaves to it and maybe, you know, make it look like it's a good fall design. So we'll come back up to elements. This time I'm just gonna go ahead and put fall leaves. We're gonna want some graphics here. And then I'm just gonna pick a couple, you know, cute fall leaf patterns 
that I think might look good to add as, as flourishes. So I can put them wherever I want. Maybe I put a couple up here, something like that. And I can change the colors of those, so that's kind of convenient. Scroll down again, lots of different ones to choose from. I mean, those are pretty. These ones I can't really change the colors of, but if it's kind of the right color to begin with, that's fine. Maybe I want it to be something more like that. Doesn't really matter. Again, maybe a couple more leaves. I like these ones, they kind of look like they're falling. And maybe they would look good over here, sort of looking like they're falling. And so something like that would be fun. And you can do it again however you want. So just little ways to add different flourishes that might look pretty. You know, I think I'm going to get rid of this one and do this one instead. That way I can... There we go. Something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick with this. And now I can just go ahead and download the whole thing again. And the same way I did before. Transparent background, PNG, download, and there is your design. So that really was quick and easy to make. Um, and you can use Photopea for a lot of other things too, so it's definitely worth checking out. And again, it is entirely free and you don't even need to make an account. Okay, so I hope you can find a lot of cool ways to make some really groovy designs. That's all for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.